M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So what is Wi-Fi Builder in the PiStar system? Basically, it's adding your username and password of your Wi-Fi to your either your home router or you could turn on the hotspot on your mobile phone and then use the username and password of that to get basically a Wi-Fi connection for your PiStar device, like a jumbo spot. So how do we use it? Go to pistar.uk and you'll come up with this page here. Go down on the left and select Wi-Fi Builder. Then put in your username and password of your home Wi-Fi. So let's just say your username is home Wi-Fi router, okay? And let's say that the password is um, one, two, three, four, five password. When you click, then click submit here. Once you click that, you get this little file appear on the left and it's called a WPA, WPA supplicant. So then just click the little up arrow and, se and select show in folder. And when you see it, right click it and send it to your SD card that you've plugged into your laptop. So if you've got a jumbo spot and it's pre-configured, you still have to add your Wi-Fi details unless someone's done it for you before they posted it out to you. So you need to get your jumbo spot and you need to pull out the SD card that is in the bottom section. So you can't see it very well, but in the bottom of your jumbo spot, that's where the SD card goes. And so you get that, and you put it into an adapter, into your a USB adapter, and you put it into your laptop. You add the WPA file, then you put it back into your jumbo spot. Once you've done that, you've got the Wi-Fi details in there. Once you put the SD card back in your jumbo spot and then power your jumbo spot with a USB cable, just the same as what you would with your phone. You want it to be, you know, about one amp really to easily do it. And then go to your browser and type in, in lowercase, pi-star dot local with a slash, so pi star local, and you can see it here, and I'll put it in the description. And then, if you've done things correctly, you will get a pi star page show up. It will probably say something like modem, configure, um, or well, something like that, but that's when you know you're talking to the Jumbo hotspot. If you just get a failed page, then the Wi-Fi details are incorrect. If it, asks, if it works and you click configuration and it asks you to log in, then the password is pi-star, the same as it says here, pi flatline star, and then that's the username that is, and the password is raspberry, R-A-S-P-B, then E-R-R-Y. So, and then that will allow you to log into the configuration, and that's when you need to add the de details like I've got here. So you choose the mode, you s these are already pre-selected. Then you've got to put in your call sign, the frequency of your hotspot. If you've chosen DMR, you'll need your DMR no number in there as well. It will ask for that. Uh, and there's a frequency, and then the modem you select is this one here for a normal jumbo hotspot. Okay, so but this video really it's about using Wi-Fi uh, wi Builder. And we'll just go back to that. If we can find it. So this video is about PyStar tools, then Wi-Fi Builder, and how to create your WPA supplicant file. 7.3, all the best.